question more and go behind the Iron Curtain USA. a lot of advice. Can you believe that? A lot of the advice. Sometimes, sometimes from strangers, uh, sometimes from our enemies, sometimes from my family as well. <laughs> but no, the, uh, but the advice that came up from the very well-meaning uh, individuals who were in the category of maybe mainstream Republican, and they would come up and say, Ron, we really like you. We like what you're doing and we like what you're saying. But if you would only do one thing, if you would change one thing, boy, you would really have a lot more success. You need to change your foreign policy. And of course, and of course, if I didn't have the same, the policy that I do have, I don't believe we would be here tonight. And this, and this is something they obviously do not understand. Those who do understand it fear it because of the uh, powerful special interest behind a foreign policy of intervention in the military industrial complex. So it's complex, but they strongly resent this. But it was mentioned already today. I have mentioned it before, but I think it's the best test of my support coming from, more so than anybody else, from the military for our foreign policy. Also, also at approximately that same time, Something else was uh, uh, started, and that was the uh, the domination or the oncoming of communism. 1917, the Bolsheviks taking over, and communism was a panacea. It was all done with good intentions. You take care of the people. All those wonderful promises. Well, communism lasted 74 years. It dissipated between 1989, 1991. People don't. Uh, talk too much about communism anymore. At the same time, communism brought about, is hard to count when it gets up into the hundreds of millions. It is estimated that possibly 200 million people died by people who were able to put bad ideas out on the table and look at the tragedy of what happened. That era is over and done with. We are not going to see the world go back to that type of a program again. One of the, one of the books that impressed me when I was still in medical school was uh, Dr. Shivago. And I remember one line in there when Laura was talking to Chivago, and things were very, very bad during the revolution. And she says to Chivago, uh, what a terrible time to be alive. And she was absolutely right, anticipating just what was coming. But I think things are different now. I don't think we should be as depressed. We have more knowledge now than ever and the before. Is, look, let's stop the spending. Let's end the wars. Let's abide by the Constitution of the United States. in this country. Let's stop this growing police state in this country. I'm going to be the only candidate that does not want to bomb Iran. I'm going to be the only candidate that wants to 
Get out of Afghanistan now. Bring the troops home. Question 4 goes behind the Iron Curtain USA.